When the sun is at its highest point at noon, we are bathed in an incredibly intense light. As the hours pass, the intensity of the light gradually diminishes until finally, nightfall comes, and we are enveloped in darkness. But why does space seem so dark during the night, even with the countless cosmic light sources adorning the sky? If the nighttime sky were filled with such a large number of stars, shouldn't it be radiant and clear? In this video, we will discover why the night vision of stars is accompanied mainly by profound darkness, and why the universe appears so dark to us. If you want to join us on this journey to explore the greatest mysteries of the universe, subscribe to our channel, Futuristic Findings, enable notifications, and don't miss our upcoming videos. And if you enjoy our explorations into the vast expanses of space, feel free to leave a like. The Olber's Paradox We know that our planet Earth takes 24 hours to complete one full rotation around its own axis. Due to this characteristic, during the day, we have the sensation that the sun is moving across the sky. However, when the sun disappears on the horizon, we are deprived of its natural source of light, and all we see in the night sky is complete darkness despite the countless sparkling stars. If the universe were infinitely large and had an abundant distribution of stars, shouldn't the nighttime sky be as bright as the sun? After all, it is estimated that there are up to 400 billion stars just in our galaxy, the Milky Way. The German astronomer Johannes Kepler raised this question in the early 17th century when he noticed clear evidence of darkness in the night sky, indicating that the universe couldn't be infinite. This cosmic enigma kept scientists intrigued for the following decades. The explanations proposed by Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers on this subject became known as Olbers Paradox. This paradox is based on fundamental assumptions of scientific cosmology, which considers the universe to be homogeneous and isotropic, meaning similar in all directions and points of observation. In the galactic context, this implies that an infinitely extended universe must have a uniform distribution of stars, even at great distances. Under these conditions, the light from each star, regardless of the direction, should reach Earth sooner or later. Thus, the nighttime sky would be as bright as the surface of a star. However, our nighttime observation of the sky clearly shows that this is not the case. So why is space dark? In his research, Olbers proposed that the gases between stars absorb the emitted light, which would explain the lack of brightness in space. However, as we know today, this was a misconception by the astronomer. If the starlight shone on the gas, it would heat up and start shining intensely. In fact, many researchers in the past believed that the Milky Way was an isolated universe with infinite emptiness beyond our galaxy. Only in the early 20th century was this assumption contradicted when it was discovered that the supposed nebulae, which were faint points of light in the sky, were distant galaxies that also harbored billions of stars. Space beyond our barred spiral galaxy is not empty. Therefore, there must be an answer to the question, why does the universe appear so dark to us at night? Contrary to the original assumption, the distribution of stars in space is not uniform. Stars cluster into galaxies, which in turn form large clusters of galaxies. At great distances, the basic cosmological principle still holds. When we look at the sky, we are always seeing the surface of some star in an infinite cosmos. However, we must bear in mind that the average distance between our planet and the bright stars is enormously immense. This galactic average is quantified as 10 to the power of 23, which is 100 trillion light years. One light year is the distance that light travels in a vacuum during a year, covering a fabulous distance of nearly 10 trillion kilometers. This means that the light from an average star needs 10 to the power of 23 years to reach Earth. The problem is that the light emitted by the stars simply hasn't had enough time to traverse this enormous distance. Today, experts agree that the universe was formed approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The area of the universe that we can observe is, therefore, too small to create a radiant nighttime sky. Invisible Particles of Light Does this imply that at some point in the distant future, Earth's night will be accompanied by a dazzling glow? Not the case. 
When we reach a stage in time where we could examine a sufficiently large portion of the cosmos, the stars in the universe will have long since faded away. Just like all other celestial bodies adorning space, stars are finite entities. In fact, the nuclear reaction that sustains the brightness of these objects lasts only for a relatively short period. In strictness, the night sky is not as dark as it appears to our eyes, at least not in all spectral ranges. In reality, Earth is struck by weak and uniform radiation coming from all directions. These rays peak at a wavelength of about one millimeter, putting them in the microwave range. This background radiation is a remnant of the Big Bang, a phenomenon that can be currently proven. Approximately 380,000 years after the birth of the universe, the temperature had dropped to around 2,900 degrees Celsius, allowing electrons and protons to combine and form stable hydrogen atoms. In other words, at that moment, the cosmos became permeable to electromagnetic radiation. The particles of light released in this process still present themselves to us today in the form of cosmic microwave background radiation. However, due to the continuous expansion of the universe, this early radiation has lost much of its original intensity. Currently, the cosmic microwave background radiation has only one billionth of its former intensity. Originally, the universe was brilliantly illuminated by the influence of this background radiation. However, over millions of years, the wavelength of this galactic remnant shifted from the visible spectrum to the microwave range, preventing us from detecting it with our human eyes today. Limitations of our vision In reality, human beings are capable of perceiving only a small fraction of the total spectrum of light. If we could see in the infrared and microwave ranges, the universe would appear completely different to us. Experts are convinced that the visible baryonic matter to us represents only a small percentage of the total matter in the universe, estimated to be just 4.9%. Additionally, in the current models, 68.3% of dark energy and 26.8% of dark matter are present. Although the existence of dark energy and dark matter has not been experimentally proven yet, researchers are certain they play a fundamental role in constellations and galactic processes. Hypothetical dark energy could explain the unexpectedly accelerated expansion of the universe, while dark matter assists in the movements of visible matter. However, the rapid expansion of the universe not only diminishes the brightness of the cosmic microwave background radiation, but also contributes to the fact that the night sky appears so dark to us. As mentioned, the Big Bang occurred about 13.8 billion years ago when matter, space, and time originated from an original singularity. Since then, the universe has been continuously expanding. This means that all structures in the universe are moving away further from their point of origin, and the distance between individual cosmic structures is constantly increasing. This includes the countless stars which are drifting and dispersing further apart. The dark regions between these celestial clusters also become increasingly vast. We are interested in hearing your opinion. Please leave your comments, suggestions, and ideas. Be sure to check out the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on the thumbnails in the credits. We appreciate your interest. Take care, and see you next time.